Hi, Emma. As I mentioned, uh, it was the change in geometry, I believe, that uh, got rid of that uh, mesh meshing problem that you saw. It had nothing to do with your schematic, which the logic of your schematic was actually fine. Um, that said, I thought I would talk a little bit about this classic fusion branch structure that we see here in your lowermost branch. The value of that branch structure is in its ability to combine multiple meshes or multiple arguments to each of these union, intersection, and subtraction nodes. But in the case like this where you only have one mesh uh, for each of those operations, there's really no need for the branch structure. It doesn't hurt anything, but it's completely optional. So I'm going to break this down by looking at the intersection first. So again, we have your uh, two meshes going through these union and intersection nodes, but that's really unnecessary because all we really want is an intersection of those two meshes. So we can just get rid of these two guys and just hook those two meshes up to an intersection node. And there you can see it in the 3D viewport and that's of course one of the nice things. It's all interactive so just by playing with it you can see what's happening. So there's our intersection. Now uh, the next thing we wanted to do was subtract that triangular shape, that triangular mesh. And here it kind of makes sense because it's going through this union node that is then negated which is of course what creates the subtraction. But again, the union node is uh, completely unnecessary because we only have one mesh. So there's no need to create a union with anything before we subtract. We can just subtract uh, directly. So the, the cleanest way to do that is actually just to go to the um, mesh itself. Let me get this uh, other unneeded node out of the way. Okay, go to the mesh itself, um, go to its channels, and just make sure it's drag over its negated channel and link that up to our intersection. And so it's again it's just a contributor to the intersection, but since it's negated, it's the equivalent of a subtraction. And of course, you could use an actual subtraction node. Um, in that case, what we want to do is disconnect this intersection from the rest of the model, which is this link going off into the distance there. So instead of feeding from there, we're going to feed from the result of our subtraction. And the two inputs to the subtraction would be our uh, intersection. And we're subtracting the uh, wedge from that. And, and again, as, as I noted, that, uh, that link goes off and, and links everything up with the rest of the model, as you know. So um, it's just the nature of... Uh, Boolean expressions that there are many ways to get to the same place. Uh, there are many right ways and uh, there are many wrong ways, but there was nothing wrong with your original uh, schematic. And this, this notion of negated intersections may seem a, a little strange, but it's really pretty straightforward. Uh, a normal intersection means that you take the insides, if you will, of two objects and that's your result. You get what's inside of both objects. When you do a negated intersection, you're taking the outside of that object. In other words, your model will include, in this case, everything that is outside of that triangular wedge. And its advantage in the context of the standard fusion branch is that it uh, accommodates multiple subtractive elements in a very concise way. All right, that's about it. Thanks.